as Howard Kendall has ended Manchester City's search for a new manager. He'll take over at Main Road on Monday, hoping to change the ailing club's fortunes and lift them from the bottom of Division One. Howard Kendall left Everton Football Club two and a half years ago on a wave of success to go to Spain. Under him, Everton won two league championships, the FA Cup and the European Cup Winners' Cup. Athletic Bilbao sacked him last month, but City fans are now banking on the magic touch that once put Liverpool in the shade. Well, I think he's got the ability, he's got the qualities to make a good manager, and I think he'll pull him off the bottom and possibly get him to the middle of the table within a few months. I hope he does anyway. I think he can bring some cohesion. I mean, you can see we've got a lot, a lot of young players, eager lads, bags of potential, and I think we're a team of the future. We just need bonding together a bit now. But some City supporters are still wondering what the future holds for the club. Earlier this week, Chairman Peter Swales declared that older manager Joe Royal was the man to change Manchester City's fortunes. The next manager we hope will be Joe Royal from Oldham. Why do you want him? Well, because we've considered uh, the situation. We know his record. We know, the, we know what he can do. Uh, and we think he's the best man that's uh, possibly available. Joe Royal decided to turn down the offer and stay at Boundary Park. Now it's reported that the club has added a clause to their new manager's contract, releasing him from the job if he's invited by the FA to take over from Bobby Robson as England manager after the World Cup. I think it's bad news because I think he'll be here for a few months and then he'll take the England post. And tonight, former City coach Malcolm Allison added another intriguing insight into the affair when he revealed that at one stage he'd spoken to the chairman about the manager's job at Manchester City. I spoke to Peter Swales and he said that he'd ring me back. And therefore, I think that he was a little bit interested. And uh, he rang me back and he said that, that uh, he felt that if we failed, you know, that it would we'd make us both look uh, rather silly. I feel, I feel that I would have done a great job there. I think that this, this group of players is completely different from the group of players I went back to in 1979, where there were several old internationals who didn't want to work. Whereas now there's a young team, which is right up my street, which I left them with. I left them with a very good young team that went to the semi-final of the, of the League Cup and the final of the FA Cup. Do you think Howard Kendall is there to stay? Well... I like Howard Ken. I think he's a great lad and I think he's very good at his job and I just hope, because I'm a supporter of Manchester City, I just hope that he does a great job there. And I'm sure that Malcolm Allison will get a job soon as well. And here, sport is full of ironies, of course. Howard Kendall's first game in charge will be a televised match on Sunday week at Everton. Lucy. <laughs>